Greetings everyone. I'm here uh, with an update on econometrics training at the Ted Rogers School of Management at Ryerson University, which is located in downtown Toronto. And the building that you see here is the new, but well, not so new, it was built in 2006, but fairly new building um, in, in downtown Toronto. The updates is about the pedagogical issues in, in, our, in, in econometrics, which uh, basically it's a statement that I am moving away from um, the current software that I've used in the past to train statistics and econometrics, including um, SPSS, SAS, data, and um, I'm moving away from it to a freeware called R. And when I'm introducing R, a little bit about R Commander, R through Excel, and Zilog. Now, um, this is merely uh, an update. Um, there is no new module of training in this particular video, but just to let you know what's coming. Um, why I would like to, um, um, I have a plan to actually upload a complete uh, course in statistical modeling and econometrics, applied econometrics, and I've decided to do it not in any um, uh, software that you probably know of, SAS, Data, um, SPSS. Um, I, I want to go with R. R is a freeware, and I have four good reasons to to not just four, but I can only list here four because I'm running out of space here. You know, so I have four good reasons um, for R. Um, it's very powerful, and uh, it's free, it's current, and it's getting easier to learn. So um, let me explain uh, what do I mean by this. Um, um, the, whenever there's a change in a platform, um, there's a lot of concerns, both for the those who are teaching it and those who are learning, because you have to learn a new software. But and as long as the, the background stays the same, and you, uh, that is the econometric theory that doesn't change, and it's not going to change in the near future, um, adopting a platform is merely a question of convenience or what is available. In this case, I've made a uh, concerted effort to, to find a platform. Now, my intent is... To, to use that platform that is not only useful to my students in Canada or, or, or colleagues in the United States or Europe where almost anyone can afford software like SPSS because all universities have site licenses for SPSS and um, SAS and, um, and, and perf personally for my own research I use Stata because I find it to be very convenient for research purposes um, but then I also would like to be contributing to training um, in, 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 in outside of North America and Europe, I've got friends and I've got students and colleagues in Africa and Asia and um, in other developed parts of the developing world. We're spending sixteen hundred, two thousand dollars to get us licensed software. Uh, it's a fairly expensive uh, par um, proposition, and I don't want people to to par use pirated software. So there's one good way of keeping uh, people honest and that is to use freeware. R is freeware. It's completely free. That is, it's not um, that um, there's no hidden um, things with R. It's, it's, it's totally free. Now, if you um, look at it, I'm just showing you the, the R's website. Um, it's, um, you can download it uh, from here. Um, and, and it's powerful. And the reason I say it's powerful is because um, it, it is being updated all the time. It can do any any econometric statistical analysis that you could do in any other software. And if you, you know, it, it's just, it's a very decent platform to do work. And, and, and it's very powerful. And um, it's current. And the reason I say it's current is because there's roughly 2,000 um, specialized editions or add-ons written for, for R by, by community that has been active in this globally. And, um, and, and it's, it's getting out of the, the, the geeky world as well, you know. So as I said that it's, it's being uh, um, adopted by not just uh, the geeks of the world, but look here, it's New York Times and R has gone mainstream. It was um, earlier in January that um, a reporter by the name um, Ashley Vance uh, covered R in in, uh, in in New York Times as uh, you know that it just the um, it's gone mainstream to be to be to be very honest and and these two dudes uh, these are the guys which is um, uh, Robert uh, Gentleman and 
uh, and Ross here, these are the guys who, who are behind, who have been behind R. Um, so it's not just some, something geeky anymore. It's, it's, it's trendy, it's current, it's new, and it's here. So anyhow, um, so you got the, the message about it's free, yeah, you know, and it's current because there are 2,000 packages, and every day somebody's writing a package and improving it. And it's getting easier to learn. Now, what do I mean by that? Uh, in the past, it didn't have a GUI, you know, the graphical user interface. So everybody was stuck with uh, with typing commands. Now, I like that because it creates a historical syntax that I can keep with myself, and then if I have to devise the analysis, I go back and I you know, play with it and, and whatnot. It's not like SPSS where you click and, and point and click and then... Uh, three hours later you have the answers, then next day you want to do something different, then you have to repeat it. Even though, in all fairness, SPSS provides an excellent uh, opportunity and a facility to, to create a script for all your uh, commands. Um, uh, and then you can reproduce the analysis later. Um, so, But R did not have the GUI environment. You could only do the script. Thank, then later, John Fox from McMaster University, which is in Hamilton, a suburb of Toronto, not that Hamilton would like to consider itself a suburb of Toronto, but who cares? Um, so our, um, sorry, John Fox at uh, Hamilton uh, created this uh, amazing GUI for R, and now you can use John Fox's GUI, which he calls R Commander, probably because you can communicate commands to R through his his his, his um, new add-in. And that has really made brought R into the mainstream because now, if you don't want to write scripts, you can you can use R as if you are using SPSS, just point and click, and you get the data sets and the analysis. Um, then there are two uh, researchers, uh, probably from Europe, and they just came up with a book and, and another add-in, and the book is called R through Excel. Um, and then um, the the advantage is that they have taken R and they've taken R Commander and have um, put it in Excel. So basically, you don't even have to know anything about, well, you still need to know a little bit about R and Excel and, um, and R Commander, but you can run all the utilities, all the, all the analysis through, um, um, through Excel. That is, you can import data, you can, if you have data in Excel, you can run models, you can analyze that data within Excel using R without ever leaving Excel. And I think that's that's a big big uh, leap forward. Um, and here R is beating um, um, SPSS and others because they you still have to use SPSS. And most people, um, um, I shouldn't say most, but a lot of my students, and I'm speaking from my experience at my at my, my experience at McGill University where I taught at the University of Toronto where I have active research collaboration or my own university that is the Ryerson University in Toronto um, I have noticed that students are more comfortable with uh, with Excel than any other software and if you can you know leverage that that expertise or knowledge and then use that as a springboard to do advanced research or advanced training then why not and lastly, Zelig, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but uh, a couple of guys, um, well, not a couple of guys, actually, three persons, three researchers, one at Harvard University and, and a couple others at other programs, um, came up with Zelig, and that basically takes the different kind of syntaxes that are available in, in the 2,000-odd manuals, uh, models, or algorithms that are written for um, R, and these, these gentlemen have created a unified a platform, a unified syntax for R, so you can run any model through that unified syntax, which is very good because then it makes learning easier. So here's Excel 2007, and you could notice you notice that you know it comes in as an add-in. You click in, add-in, and here's the R menu that you can use. And this is actually the R Commander menu: you know, file, edit, data, statistic, graph, models. So they have taken this R Commander and put it in Excel. And then you can actually, you know, close R, run R, and you can do all sorts of stuff from here. So, R Commander, on the other hand, looks like this, and this is the R console. And well, actually, it's not R Commander. This is R. And when you run the models, you can get the output like this. Um, and you know, here's the model. There, somebody ran some biological model of a tree, its volume and girth and whatnot. And there's a there's some output, some standard errors and whatnot. Okay, so this is it. And what is Zilig? Zilig is available, you know, through Harvard University. Here's their link, and um, and um, so it's Kusuku, Imai, Gary King, 
and Olivia Lowell. Oh, I've been saying gentlemen, but there's something funny here. Okay, so anyhow, um, it's uh, these three very able researchers have made the task of research uh, using R and especially made the, the job of teaching statistics very easy uh, by, by introducing Zelig. So we are, especially I am, grateful to both to John Fox, the authors of the book R Through Excel, and Zelig. So in the next few weeks and months, you will be seeing a series of um, um, uh, webcasts or videos um, on the Regionomics channel on YouTube which will be showing um, advancements in, in the econometric theory, not necessarily the advancements in theory, but applications, and, and then some common econometric models. How do you estimate them using these techniques and using the tools that I've, I've just introduced? So we'll talk to you soon.